Hey guys, Big Rat 3, Tennis here again with a video about the YouTube propaganda. I've, had, I've wanted to be here for a few days now, and the games have already started. I'm already in fantasy football mode, so I kind of got to make this video quickly before I forget. Uh, I've been watching Unified. It's pretty good so far, and I haven't seen the two five-star matches yet. As you all know, <laughs> I finished Vendetta. It was probably the most complicated DVD of all time. Basically, imagine Victory Road with a five-star match. And a three-star match. That's like... Then what would you give Victory Road? Okay, but anyways... Uh, let me talk about this. About the YouTube propaganda. Look, guys. I know some of you guys are new. And you're trying and all. But I think you guys are going about this the wrong way. And I know MB Wrestler talked about this. I get messages all the time saying... Please subscribe to me. Please watch my videos. Please check me out. Or my personal favorite. Sub or die. I think that's a bit much, man. I mean, you're going about the wrong way to show yourself out on YouTube. You can't just ask people to sub for no reason. And another thing is sub for sub. I'll admit it. I will openly admit it. When I first got on here, I really wanted to get my name out there. And I don't remember if I did that, but I think I might have. And I remember Gilbert Blaze. I remember I asked him for a sub for sub, which actually turned out to be a good thing because I really like his videos. <laughs> so I went there. I'll admit, Gilbert Blaze, I'm sorry for the whole sub to sub thing. That That's just not... It's not the way you go around getting your name out there. Now, I really just can't. Every I get messages every day. Please subscribe to me. I get a lot of shared videos. A lot of people on Skype. Whenever I get on Skype, and I'm in these conversations with Mappy. So when Mappy's had to plug Skype, and he plugs Skype, and like all the subscribers got Skype, and all the subscribers know me. So he adds them to conversations, and I always say, "Hey, Big Rat, subscribe to me. Hey, Big Rat, subscribe to me." And they send me their links and stuff. And I'm like, "Why? I haven't seen your videos. I don't know if you're that good or not." You have to impress me. I have to be impressed by you. Not the other way around, man. Listen. On YouTube, I know it's tough. And you're wondering yourself, how do I get noticed? There's better ways to get noticed. And let me say that my two favorites. One, comment section. The comment section is very underrated. If you make very intelligent comments, I do take notice. You guys don't think I do. I take notice. I'll give you a great example. 911 oh shit. I just subscribed to him recently. Uh... Because through his comments, I haven't seen his videos yet, but like we were talking, he was part of the Skype when I was giving this whole speech about the propaganda. Uh, I can faithfully say, he says, you know, check out my videos if you like. And I can basically say I can like his videos through the comments that he writes on my channel. Because he writes a lot of very intelligent comments from time to time. And I can tell how that will translate into some of his videos. So I subscribe to him just to, you know, try it out. I haven't seen a video of his yet, but when I do, I'm pretty sure I'll like it. Because I, through his comments, I, I, I take notice of comments. I'll just say, great video, now please subscribe to me. Or repeat something that I said in the video. Make an intelligent interpretation of what I said. Get your name out there. And another way, and no one uses this way enough. A Stone told this to me when I first started, and I should have taken his advice a lot more seriously than I did. That's how I got R.H. Styles to subscribe to me. That's how I got A Stone to take notice of me. That's how I got a lot of people to take notice of me. Video responses. Do not just attach your review to my review. No, no, no. That's not a video response. After something that I say, create your own video just like right after I made my video. Like, uh, to counter what I said, or to agree with it in another light. A Jordan 34 has done this a thousand times. The Wrestling Fan 1 has done this before. Sanders Robin has done this before. Sanders Robin didn't just attach his Round Robin Challenge review as a response to mine. You know, he talked about me in that bit and made a point to the points that I was making. That's why I found Rare 180 through his video responses. You have to make video responses and don't just attach your review. When I make my SummerSlam reviews or my reviews, I, I get a bunch of video responses saying, you know, people always just, you know, attach their video response to mine. And I don't believe in that. I really don't. Do I do it? Yes, I will openly admit I do it. I always send my, I always, uh, Post up my reviews to uh, guys like True Sayer and ROH Styles, mainly because those guys get a lot of views on their reviews. They do, and they accept all the video responses. I've never seen either one turn them down. And you, I checked one video got like 200 views because I responded it to True Sayer's video, or like 400 something from ROH Styles one time. Yes, I do admit I will attach reviews, but not because I want to like get their attention. I know most of them probably won't watch the video. I, most people who attach reviews don't watch the videos anyways. I just want to get the view recognition. I will admit it. Call me a, a whore, whatever you want. I just do it, you know, to expand my channel a little way. That's how you get your name out there. 
Now, for me, if you want to, if, but if you want me particularly to subscribe, to, like if you want to send your video response to me, maybe now I'll be, I'll accept it. Just so you know, on my channel, people can see your videos. But if you want me to subscribe to you personally, uh, attaching your review to mine won't do it. It might if you if you like directly counter points I said in my review. But like I said, you know, for guys like True Star Which Styles, when I send them my reviews, you know, Which Styles will sub to me. I don't send them to them just to so they can sub to me. I send it to them so so the video can get more exposure on their channel. I've never seen True Star turn down a video response. I could be wrong on that though. And um, and it's very nice of them to do that for you guys. You guys should be more appreciative. Not a lot of guys on here are willing to do that. And you know, if you so like I said, maybe now if you send me a video response to review, maybe I'll just put it up on my channel so your video can get exposure and, and whatnot. Damn phone. But if you want me to substitute, that's not the way to do it. Like I said, if you make a review though, countering specific points I made, then maybe. I have to I have to like the video response. Like it has to be a good video response. And also, please stop sending everyone videos. I know there's a lot in here. True Slayer, MB Wrestler, Spinner that tells me this. Those guys get flooded with videos every day. Please subscribe to me. Please subscribe to me. Get their attention. Spinnernet told me on Skype that the wrestling fan won. Um, Mr. Phenomenal, all oh, eight, and like 10 other guys. He subscribed to them because he liked their video responses that they made to his videos. So you want to get people's attention? Make a video response. That's how you get my attention. That's how you'll get everyone else's attention on YouTube. Another thing, I don't mean to embarrass people. Shared videos. Some guys on here are kind of bothering me with the shared videos. No offense, Ultimator50, I am subscribed to you. So you don't have to send me your videos. Because I do get, I, people always do flood my shared videos account. Killer King used to do it all the time. Like, all the time. Every time I would get his videos in my box. And I was like confused. I'm subscribed to you. I will watch the video. Why do you have to send it into my shared videos account? Ultimate 50 hasn't done it a lot. Killer King used to do it a lot, but Killer King, I think, stopped. Ultimate 50 kind of stopped. Uh, Cousin Cheeto still does it. I'll watch the video. It's okay. It's just sometimes, you know, I'm not trying to, like, call you out or anything. It's just sometimes I get, like, 10 shared videos a day, and I can't watch them all. And most of them are from people I'm already subscribed to, and that makes no sense. And, like I said, I get the message every day. Please subscribe to me. Please subscribe to me. You want to get my attention. Make a video response or do well with the comment section. Okay? That's how you get my attention. And reviews, I will put it on my channel by, by doing that. You know, I put it under my video video response just so you know you can get some more exposure. I'm pretty sure if you have like zero subscribers and you give it, you make a review and then you attach it to my video, I'm pretty sure you'll get an, an, gain an extra 20 or 30 views from that. And that'll give you more exposure. And you know, and I'm fine with that. I always gain a good five or six subscribers every time. No, every every time I make a review, I gain a good fifteen to ten to fifteen. Yeah, that much. But ever since, whenever I attach it to True Slayer's video, to RH Styles video, or to Spinnernet's video, I always gain an extra like sixty or seventy, eighty, hundred views, and I get six or seven subscribers from that. My SummerSlam review video got two thousand freaking views. I think it's the second most watched SummerSlam review on YouTube besides RH Styles. Uh, my Victory Road review got a thousand. Well, that one, <laughs> that's a personal favorite of mine. That's one of my favorite videos of all time. And my Breaking Point review got a thousand. And my No Surrender review is pretty close. You know, their reviews on YouTube, they're, people think they're a dime a dozen. They're really not that common. If you can get your review out early, in time, you'll get a lot of views from it. And you gotta, also, the tags. Killer King 91 taught me this. The tags. I will show you the proper tag. It's in the description box. If you want to type in AJ Styles, you don't type in AJ Styles because then all you're tagging is the word AJ and the word Styles. To do it right, you have to put quotation mark AJ space Styles quotation mark. And then in this, and then the, the YouTube will be searching AJ Styles, like the wrestler AJ Styles, not AJ and not Styles, but AJ Styles. And that will get your video a lot more views as well. And that's also how you get your name out there. Now, I know some people like don't believe in this stuff. And also, you know, asking people for plugs. I get people ask me for plugs all the time. And I do plug a lot of people. I'm very generous with that. And I'll admit, when I first started, I asked everyone for plugs. And I regret that. Uh, Coffee Ninja B8, though, I uh, will admit, he plugged me when I asked him to. And I didn't think he would. And that was very nice of him. And I'm very grateful for that. And, um... You know, so don't try to ask people for plugs. Impress me. You don't have to ask me for a plug. I plug everybody. I'll, I'll probably plug you if I'm subscribed to you in, in eventually. So just impress me. All right? So I want to say, I think this is a very important video to make. I'm Big Grad 3, 10. I'm out, guys. See ya. 
Ooh, my Helen and Cell review will be late tonight because I'm going to a friend's house late tonight. So, for to do a little thing for a project. So, I'm not gonna. Like the old days, like this entire year, except for Breaking Point and SummerSlam, my WWE review, pay per view reviews would come at like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Sorry. Okay, maybe. Damn, I'm not gonna see it.